new at five, an El Paso man has been arrested after police say he kidnapped a woman and her daughter at gunpoint. 52-year-old Victor Hugo Escobedo has been arrested and charged with aggravated robbery and aggravated kidnapping with a deadly weapon. Police say they responded to a call at Cielo Vista Mall and say a 26-year-old woman and her two-year-old daughter were approached by Escobedo. He pulled out a black and yellow handgun and told her to get in her vehicle. He was uh, he forced to drive to a bank and then told her to go in and make a withdrawal while he stayed in the car with the child. Then police say he made her drive back to Cielo Vista Mall before taking the money and her phone and fleeing. Police later identified Escobedo arrested him, that, they, that Escobedo was arrested and are asking the public to call Crime Stoppers if they have any more information. A teenager accused of a deadly shooting at a Sonic restaurant in San Antonio is now one of the state's most wanted fugitives. That person believed to be in the Austin area this week. Today, DPS added 17-year-old Adia Robertson to the most wanted list. They've been searching for her for over two months now for shooting and killing a Sonic manager in San Antonio. Earlier this week, authorities began expanding their search for Robertson here in Austin. She's considered armed and dangerous. Crime Stoppers offering a $5,000 reward for any tips leading to an arrest. A teenage. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12. And it reads, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. First and foremost, as always, in the pale of Hebrew, meaning in ancient Hebrew, I'm going to give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom is God of the living. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barach, Rodash, which is our praise to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and Holy Spirit, who is our strength and our Redeemer, and our light and our salvation. In the same tongue, I'm Adam Ashana, Kabuadim, Lahas, Kwanim, Shal, Garabakab, meaning double honors to the apostles and elder bishops, Great Millstone, the men of one west, whose labors we have entered into, and Shalom, honor salutations to Bayath, Shadawada, the house of David. The um, 144,000 elected governing body of the House of David, along with the rest of the one-third elect men, women, and children of Israel. To fellow servant, Malak Rayav, let's back at it again. We're not epistle to the spirit of prophecy, being a testimony of our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Ahabashai, who the masters of the word eagerly refer to Jesus Christ. And, um, you know, you can see, you know, through um, those, those uh, first two clips that were played, all right, further giving off the vibration of death, all right, um, by way of the standard of... Um, of living, okay, um, you know, predicated off of iniquity, which is sin upon sin, all right, and that's the standard in America, all right, you know, um, justified by the theme of America, liberty and justice for all, as it says in Second Peter 2 and 19, for they that promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, all right, and this is why America is such a corrupt um, capitalistic corporation, uh, you know, you know, which really just gives off that free for all vibe, all right, where anything goes, um, and that, that's really just ties back to the theme of America, you know, liberty and just for all, which originates back to, um, you know, a theme slash slogan of a top Satanist, okay, uh, Aleister Crowley, that the wicked elite, all right, throne of iniquity, okay, being the rulers of the darkness of this world, highly reverences as well as they do in Hollywood and so forth. And this is why, you know, iniquity is, is uh, you know, this is why um, love is waxing cold because iniquity is is a, is abounding. All right, you know, uh, people are becoming more um, emboldened to be wicked because that's the that's the satanic vibration in America, Babylon the Great. And this is why America, uh, Babylon the Great, is uh, turning more into a lawless society. All right, where people are taking matters into their own hands. Okay. Um, you know, due to the, you know, you know, due to uh, the distress that people are in, prophesied in St. Luke, the 21st chapter, all right, you know, um, in regards to the um, the expectations of the wicked failing them, you know, roughly paraphrasing Proverbs 10 to 28, all right, so this is, uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, a further, you know, further insights or uh, precursors or omens as to what's to come, a complete, you know, complete lawless society where more people are just going to be, put, you know, put to death and, and it's going to become... You know, it's gonna it's gonna be so rapidly done. Um, you know that that uh, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna seem normal after a while. All right. So this is um, Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse five, and it says, 
Behold, said the Lord, Yahweh by Shemeshai, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And this is the time we're living in, okay, a time of war, okay, between the, um, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, a time of death and calamity, okay, why? Because the wages of sin is death, and, and uh, uh, sin, iniquity, sin upon sin is a standard of the false perception of living in America. That's why, you know, gluttony is so prevalent here, you know, sexual immorality and perverseness, you know, and decadence is so prevalent here. Pride is so prevalent here, hence why they, this devil, Esau, Edom, named an entire month after that. All right. Lasciviousness, covetousness, even prevalent in, um, you know, uh, 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 you know, within the circumcision. All right. You know, Israelites. OK, uh, they know the Israelites in the leadership position. OK, that are moving funny out here. Put, you know, uh, continuing, you know, continuously changing the doctrine. OK, um, defrauding, defrauding people, defrauding their own people, as in the Israelites, you know, within their congregations, their respective congregations. All right. And in general, um, falsely accusing the sincere, faithful believers in the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemeshai. So in just in totality, you know, America, Babylon the Great is just completely wicked. All right. And this is why death is, is uh, uh, you know, death is upon this place. All right. This is 2nd Ezra 15 and 6. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay. You know, so this is why I'm going to segue over to um, Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 4. All right. This is... Uh, this is Habakkuk chapter one, verse four. It says, therefore, the law slacked and judgment doth never go forth for the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceedeth. OK, perverse judgment. OK, on behalf of um, those who are playing uh, a judge during execution on behalf of Esau, Edom. All right. On behalf of the wicked elite, international crime banking families. OK, you know, uh, uh, you know, through their foot soldiers, their law enforcement, the military industrial complex is this federal prophesied in Sirach the 10 chapter. OK. All right. They're 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 um, they're free Masonic court system. OK. All right. Where, where they're they're. Um, they're using these immoral decrees. All right. To justify these harsh. Um, no, no. Uh, uh, often just are uh, unjustifiable overbearing sentences upon mainly upon Jake upon our people okay like uh, George Stenny back in the 1940s falsely accused of raping these two little Shedemite uh, girls when uh, when I, that, that was proven to be false all right and to this day he that's the the youngest uh, death by by a, a capital punishment or in this case the the, the 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 youngest death by electrocution through an electric chair in US history. And this happened to be a young Jake, 14-year-old uh, uh, Jake, mo uh, most likely from the Southern Kingdom, so-called Negro, you see? You know, so having all this been said, America, Babylon, the Great, the main place for our captivity has a, pl uh, uh, you, know, you know, has a secular history of wrong judgment executed towards uh, Jake, all right? And so... Um, and that's why you devils can be taken into the devices that you have imagined against the poor. It's prophesied in Psalm the 10 chapter. And everyone who follows after your beast system, seeking after your satanic counsel, living after your wicked example of perceived uh, uh, de deceptive living or deceitful living, okay, which is pleasing the flesh. And that's why these people have uh, developed a scarcity mindset because they've developed a mindset from Esau, as it says in Sirach the 10 chapter. I'm going to grab that real quick. Sirach 10. <laughs> Start of verse 16, and it reads, The Lord, Yahweh by Shemesha, overthrew countries of the heathen. Oh, that's not it. Sirach here. Uh, chapter 12. Sirach 12 and 16. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagined how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if you find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Because Esau, the double talker, the self claimed white man, is a double talker. You know, and, and it's his wicked hands the earth was given into. Prophesied in Job 9 and 24. And this is why this earth is in shambles. And this is why this earth is in desperate need of uh, new management, which can only be done righteously. Okay. That's why, you know, all manners of death and calamity 
and chaos is ensuing in this earth because the wicked are ruling right now. The wicked are bearing rule right now. We're seeing Proverbs, the 29th chapter. All right. Proverbs 29 and 2 says, Matt, let me grab that real quick. Proverbs 29 and 2. And it reads, when the righteous in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So those two reports of death, okay, were further, you know, uh, indications of mourning. Those people were mourning, man. And they're looking to take their frustrations out on their so-called fellow men. All right, because they don't, these people don't give a shit about each other, man. Okay. And that's, and that's, and that, and that's becoming more apparent um, in, these, in these last days. Okay, within the final hour of Esau Edom's wicked rulership. All right. And it's, become, it's going to become more evident um, in these last days, within these perilous times, prophesied in 2 Timothy, the third chapter, okay, especially in the midst of this uh, this um, economic collapse, okay, in America, Babylon the Great. So these people are spazzing out right now, they're putting each other to death right now, when they're still running water, electricity, gas, okay, uh, supermarkets still open. You know, despite the fact we're in, we're in a hyperinflationary period, um, orchestrated purposely by the wicked elite, you know, managing, you know, regulating everyone's finances through the central banking systems and uh, IMF and so forth. All right. Um, what more so or how much more are these people going to spaz out when these these natural resources are, are at a standstill? They're scarce. OK. So once again, these these are this. You know, these are further, you know, precursors or omens or, you know, or insigns of what's to come. And that's just complete death, anarchy, through anarchy, you know, pandemonium um, and chaos out here in the streets of America, Babylon the Great. All right. So um, let me segue back to uh, actually I'm going to um, I'm going to grab second edges six. But, you know, I'm going to queue it up before I do bring out this last article. <clears throat> All right, Shalaki, a little under the weather. Um, yeah, let me get this one here. See, if there's a video clip for it. All right, so, so it says, um, outrageous act of violence, a manhunt for Waffle House shooter who deleted employee after getting angry. Waiting for his food, police say. Says uh, a North Carolina man got angry waiting for his food and shot and deleted a teenage Waffle House employee. And a search was underway to find the, uh, the, the shooter. Burley Dawson Locklear, age 18, was shot at 1242 a.m. on Friday at a Waffle House in Loringburg, police said in a news release. Loringburg is about 100 miles southwest of Raleigh. Officers responded to shots fired at the restaurant and found Locklear suffering from a gunshot wound. He died at a, at a at a hospital. All right. You know, so this so this 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 individual is only eighteen. You know, a lot of people will say, "Oh, well, he had his whole life to live." Well, you know, that's you know that the people with that mindset don't understand prophecy. Okay, it says in Saint Matthew twenty four. The you know Saint Matthew twenty four and thirteen. I'm going to grab that real quick. All right, Saint Matthew chapter twenty four. Verse 13, and it reads, no, it's not it. It was 24. Uh, Slack you. St. Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right. And this is, for the, and this is pertaining to the election of Israel. Pursuing Romans 11 and 5. All right. And so forth. So uh, back in Second Ezra 6 and 20. And it reads, And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I shoot these tokens, the books shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall see altogether, right? Because Yahweh by Shem Shai, all right, is, is uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, open the seals, okay? On behalf of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai, all right? The line of Judah, the roaring line of Judah is the only one, okay, as Alpha and Omega, okay, um, who is worthy enough to open up the seals, okay, being that he is a word in, 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 a, in a physical manifestation, okay, and this is why the comforter is here, 
okay, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Eshai, okay, to enlighten us of, of these of these prophecies and these end time prophecies, okay, you know what's to come, and um, and not to be worried because of these things, because these are all a part of the intents of the heart of Yahweh Bashim Eshai. This it says in Jeremiah thirteen twenty four, and this is why death is really ensuing in the earth, okay, because. The people of life are now ruling this earth, and that's the Israelites. Okay, that's why we're we're currently within this paradigm shift. Okay, of wicked rulership to righteous rulership, as the further speaks about in um, Sirach ten and eight, and that's why in these last days, you know we're you know people people are going to come to the realization 